What we eat contributes to the emissions we generate. Plant-based or plant-rich diets have lower impacts on warming than diets heavy on meat and dairy. But what we don't eat also has a big effect. In fact, if food waste were a country on its own, it would be the third largest emitter globally. In the United States, 38% of food goes unsold or uneaten. Imagine you and I walk into a grocery store, we buy three bags of food, and then we just throw one out on the way out to our car, which seems ridiculous, but that is actually essentially what we're doing throughout the whole supply chain. Half of that waste happens right in our homes. For the average family of four, that works out to more than 1,000 pounds of food thrown out or $2,500 wasted per year. Because of the energy it took to produce, package, and ship that food, the climate impact is the same as burning 330 gallons of gasoline. And food that ends up in a landfill doesn't break down the right way. Cut off from oxygen, it produces methane, which has a much higher warming power than carbon dioxide. But there are things you can do. So ReFed has what we call the Food Waste Five, which are behaviors that anyone can do really any day within their own homes to be reducing food waste. One, plan out your meals for the week. Try to use the same ingredients in a couple of meals. Two, store your food properly. Three, use your freezer, your food's magic pause button. Four, learn what those dates mean. With a few exceptions, like for infant formula, these sell-by, use-by, best-by dates are unregulated and sometimes arbitrary. We really recommend people using their five senses to indicate whether or not that food should be eaten. The reality is it's going to smell bad, it's going to taste bad, or it's going to look bad long before it's actually going to make you sick. Five, bring together what you didn't eat throughout the week and have a leftover night. Prevention is the best option for tackling food waste. If you do end up with spoiled food, the next best option is to compost it. I'll have more on that in the next video, but for now, tell us what you think of these tips in the comments.